All right, so I had this idea, guys. I was looking through my collection, and as I was looking at my makeup, I was kind of separating things. I'm actually doing some more TikToks lately, and honestly, I've been looking through my makeup to come up with like ideas of what I want to do, short form content, which is actually harder to think of, you know? So I was looking through all my makeup, and as I was doing that, I started thinking to myself, I wonder which products have given me the most cost per use, like that I feel like I have gotten my use out of them and they've have kind, of, kind of like made up for their price tag, like 100% because I've used them so often. And as I was going through my makeup, I realized that there is some all-star products that they have made up for their expense. Like literally I have used them so much that they are 100% cost per use effective for me. So cost per use is basically how much you have used an item and whether you have gotten your cost out of using it. So have you used it enough to validate how much you've spent on it? And I started looking through my stuff and I was like, well, there's some stuff here that I feel like the cost per use is like so good. Like I really got my use an expense out of this one. So I pulled some of them for you guys to show you the makeup that I feel like I have gotten the most cost per use out of. So if you're excited, don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let's get into it right now. So first things first, I wanna know from you guys down below what products you think are your best cost per use products. Don't forget to leave me those comments because I do love to read what other people love because it kind of also gives me ideas of new things that I should be trying. But let me show you guys. I have everything sitting here behind me. I was pulling it all out to show you all. The first thing I need to, this one has to get like a huge shot out. I feel like this has been my most cost effective mascara I have ever bought in my life. The Rare Beauty Mascara, guys, this, since I purchased it, I use it nonstop. Like, I am constantly using this mascara. This is the most effective mascara and the most cost-saving mascara I have ever used because I have other mascaras that I use a few times and I put it away and then you end up having to dump it because you didn't use it that much. This mascara is up there with L'Oreal Lash Paradise for me. It's sold at Sephora. It's incredible. I literally am out of this and I'm going to repurchase it during the Sephora sale because it's just that amazing. And yeah, this has been a huge, huge winner for me. Believe it or not, I have two foundations that I have gotten the most use out of. And one of them is very expensive or pretty expensive and the other one is not as expensive. But both of them I feel like I have used so much. Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin. This was my summer foundation. I literally wore this every single day in the summer. I actually took it out of my collection and started using it again because I forgot how much I loved it. I have it on today. I did this beautiful glowy skin look for TikTok and I'm just obsessed. And I, I just, I use this so much. I actually have a backup of this product and once this is done, which it's almost finished, I'm gonna use the backup. I do feel like I have gotten my cost per use out of this. You know, these foundations are not that cheap from Charlotte Tilbury, but this one to me was so worth every penny because I have used it non-stop. The other one is this one from LYS. So this is my second bottle of this foundation. I love this foundation. It is such a beautiful, natural skin looking foundation and it's all clean products. So it's just like, it's just such a good product and it's, it's not expensive. It's also very cost effective because it's not very expensive and I use it so often. So this has definitely given me my money's worth. So both of these foundations, in my opinion, have been my money's worth foundations. I have other ones that I use a few times, don't love certain things about them, and I just like put them aside. But these two, with a good moisturizer underneath, they are heaven sent. There's a few lip products that I really do feel like I've gotten a lot of use out of, but there's two that really stick out to me, and it's so funny because they're both from Charlotte Tilbury, and it is Nude Romance from her line. This is one of my go-to lipsticks. If you guys can see, I'm almost out of it. I mean, considering how much lipstick you get, to have this little, and I bought this, I believe it was like December, I use this all the time. It is like the perfect color for my skin tone. It gives me a very natural peachy undertone lip color, which I am obsessed with. So this is like my almost everyday go-to lip color. And then Charlotte Tilbury's Sexy Sienna, which is this beautiful corally peachy color that is heaven sent for me. I actually have it on today. So anytime you guys see like this peachy kind of lip, it's usually this product right here. I usually mix it in with a lip liner that has a little bit more of a nude undertone to it so that I can 
not die down the peachy. It helps the color be a little bit less coral on me. And it's literally like a go-to for me. Like anytime I want that beautiful peachy lip, which I do want a lot, this is the color I'm grabbing for. So this I actually just bought recently and look at how much I have used. I mean, this is not that old. I feel like I just got this this summer and these two have been non-stop. So cost per use, oh yes. Oh yes, I think that they might actually be lipsticks that I finish, which usually does not happen. I bought the Lawless Forget the Filler little um, four piece holiday set, which I wish they did again this year. Hopefully that they do, like it'll show up soon. But I love this Forget the Filler. This is the best lip gloss fake plumper I have ever used because it's not really a plumper. Like you don't feel like that ouchy feeling on your lips. You don't feel nothing, but it's advertised kind of like a lip plumper, but really what it does, it just makes your lips, it just literally makes your lips look so juicy and big, and it's just an amazing gloss. I have it on today on top of Sexy Sienna. It literally transforms every single one of my lipsticks. It came with four different colors. I'll be honest, I feel like the colors are like all the same when you put them on your lips, so a clear one is good enough but this one here is actually really beautiful too and it's called velvet and i usually put this one on top of sexy sienna and yeah it's just incredible okay brow products like brow products to me like they're so important i usually wear something in my brows i love to have a fuller brow but so i do fill them in but i like for them to look very natural so it's taken me a while to find like those perfect brow products and makeup by mario's master brow is like insanely good it is the only brow pencil that i will use to fill in my brow because it gives me a very natural almost like a powdered brow look that you can't even tell that you filled anything in this is like the best brow product on the market for me and then just to do the front i use the benefit um this is the precisely my brow i use this for the front hairs that are a little bit harder to draw on i need like a thin pencil because this one is the actual pencil and then the Makeup by Mario one is, not that side, is this kind, like the angled one. So they're different. This one I have a hard time drawing the front lines. I can't actually do it. So I have to use this product. But then this one I fill in the whole brow with. Game changers. I literally keep repurchasing these two products. Cost per use on these are like insane. Like I literally get my money's worth because I use them every single day, nonstop. And yeah amazing products. All right, so I do have dark circles. I also get allergies. So one of the products that I use non-stop to conceal my dark circles under my eyes is from Bobbi Brown. So this is the color corrector from Bobbi Brown. You guys know I talk about this all the time. This is the best color corrector in the world. I've tried so many different ones. Some of them are too greasy. Some of them go into your lines, add excess like product and make you look thick or whatever under your eyes. I don't want none of that, okay? Bobbi Brown, this is magic. I don't know, it doesn't even get into a line. It covers, it gives you, it's it's just incredible. It also brightens. My favorite product when it comes to under eye correction. And then, of course, the new beautiful Radiant Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. I bought that. I bought this this year. I have used it non-stop, and I cannot stop using this concealer. This combination to me is heaven sent, and cost per use, I mean, and I feel like because I use these products so much, I think I use them daily. It doesn't matter how much I paid for them. I literally use them daily, and I know I'm gonna end up running out of this product and probably repurchase it, and this is probably my fourth of this product here, so. Yeah. All right, so you guys know I talk about this all the time, but Rare Beauty's bronzer, I mean, this is a bronzer stick that I didn't know I was going to love, but I love it so much that I use it almost every day. I know pretty soon I'll probably end up running out of it and they're always sold out, so I might have to find a different alternative, but I love this product. A cost per use I didn't even know was going to happen here. Like, I did not know I was gonna love this so much. Really, 100% like, wouldn't have even crossed my mind but this right here is amazing you know and then also bronzer i mean i use double bronzers i mean, i always tell everybody this like when i bronze my skin with a cream bronzer i also go over it with a powder bronzer just because i just like the way that looks airbrush flawless finish bronzer charlotte tilbury this is my holy grail i buy it in tan it's the one that looks the best on my skin tone 
I think that this is like amazing. I love this bronzer and I have gone through and I've already finished basically the whole thing. I just broke it and I am not willing to give up on using it. I have a brand new refill for it, but I'm still using like the broken product because it's just so good. I can't, I can't dump it, you know? I need to use it up and this, this is, this is expensive and I got my use out of it even more than the Marc Jacobs one, the Omega. I thought I was gonna get my use out of that product and I did not compare to this. This is like holy grail, use it every day. Doesn't matter how expensive it is anymore because I use it so much. Um, okay, so for eyeliner, I actually didn't buy this. I got this in PR, but if I were to have purchased this, yes, this would have been total cost per use effective. This is the tattoo liner from KVD. KVD rebranded their brand and they still have the same tattoo liner. It's actually, I don't know if it's better, but it does seem better than the original. This is so good. It is the only eyeliner that I'll use for liquid liner. It's just very thin, very easy to maneuver. It does the perfect wings. It's it's just heaven sent. It doesn't, and it also doesn't dry out on me. I feel like I could use this so many times and it's still perfection. So yeah, this is like heaven sent for me. And I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but there's actually an eyeshadow palette in here that I believe is cost effective for me. And that's shocking because I was looking at all my eyeshadow palettes and I was going, well, I guess not. I guess not. Maybe not because a lot of them I'm always jumping between eyeshadow palettes. But there is two eyeshadow palettes that I do typically go to. Like they're my go-tos, you know what I mean? Like I feel like everybody has like their go-tos. Even if they have like a million eyeshadow palettes, there's like go-to ones. Natasha Denona's Glam. Anytime that I have something that I need to just do a little bit more drama, I jump in her. I mean, I love this palette. There's just something about it. I feel like I have gotten my cost per use out of this just because so many occasions that I've needed a more dramatic eye. I go and I grab this. Like, it's just an easy palette for me to grab. Everything in here just is so cohesive. It's a little bit more cool tone without being too cool tone. It has some warmth to it, and it's just, it's everything. It's like the perfect smoky eye palette. I just love it. And the other one that I always grab into, which is kind of funny because when I bought this, I didn't know that this was gonna be so cost effective for me, but it was the Patrick Ta Major Dimension, the original. So this is the brown one. I use this so much. So like if I'm going out and I just want that safe look that I know is gonna be pretty and it's safe, I go into her. Like this is the palette I grab and it's, almost every single time. I have some other palettes that I love. Like I love them, but there's like one color missing and I have to jump into another palette or sometimes the look has not come out amazing. Every look, always good with this one. So this is like a go-to. I've used it so often that yeah, cost per use has definitely been covered with that one. Basically my all-star products, like stuff that I keep on grabbing for and I feel like I definitely have gotten my usage out of them. I wanna know from you guys now down below. Don't forget to leave me your comments on what you believe has been your best cost per use products that you have used nonstop and that you absolutely love. But anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.